Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can open an old Pro Tools session that has Sound Designer 2 audio files. Because the current versions of Pro Tools do not support Sound Designer 2. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Pro Tools 10 to open and convert an old session with Sound Designer 2 audio files. Now I've got Pro Tools 10 running here and it's actually running on my Mac Pro cheese grater. And as you can see, it's 2010, but it's running Mac OS Sierra. That shouldn't be possible. And if you check out the article, you can see how it's possible to install Pro Tools 10 on a Mac running a, a later version of the OS like Sierra. So we now need to open my session with uh, Sound Designer 2 files. And the first thing you'll notice that we get this warning message saying that it's recognized that the files are Sound Designer 2 and that it will convert all those audio files to Sound Designer 2. So we click OK and it runs through the file open looking for all the files. And it's now asking me to find all the old files, which I'm going to skip. And you can see now, uh, if I open out the edit window, that it's merrily going through and all the audio files that were sky blue because they were Sound Designer 2 and they wouldn't be recognized by Pro Tools, it's busily converting them all to WAV files. And then once it's done, the icons up here go from red to green. So it's all the files that are on the timeline are now available. And all the files in the clip list, or with it being Pro Tools 10 region list, are all available. So now all I need to do is to do a save session copy in. We'll do it the latest session for format. Uh, the session was in 16 bits, so there's no point in, in increasing the bit depth. And then obviously we need to select the audio files in the items to copy and click OK. And then it's going to ask me where do I want to save this. And we can save this either in the existing folder or we can save it uh, somewhere else. So I'm going to save it here and I'm going to just append it with version 10. So that's my sort of workflow and away we go and it will now go away and create a new session folder with the session file format as Pro Tools 10 fully loaded with WAF files. So there we go it plays because it's all now WAF files and so if we now close this session I'm not going to save it because I've done my save session copy. So this leaves the old Sound Designer 2 version left untouched. And now we quit Pro Tools. And then if we go in and run Pro Tools 2018.1, which is my current version of Pro Tools. And now if we go and open that session, Some of the buses couldn't be allocated. Same issue about plugins. And here we go. Here is the same session in Pro Tools 2018.1. And we can play that session. And there we go. Everything's come across. All the uh, edits. I mean, this is a tracking session, so it's it's fairly simple. But obviously, if there were edits, all those come across. Everything is trimmable, and the job's done. Hope that's been helpful to you. I'll see you again soon.